We've got a little bit there. Promethium, ceramite. I didn't see any admantium so far. Well. Hmm. Okay, well. We might have to do like a, a quarry somewhere. You know, we could potentially do one like right in the middle here somewhere, possibly. Um, production, maybe? Uh, looks like we could do one up here. It's the mini one. The big one is too big. But we could potentially do like a mini quarry right here. At some point. We'll, we'll wait, but it's a possibility. Because we could get it kind of more or less within the bounds of our base. Tattered apparel, crammed. I guess we could... Well, I'm going to wait till we get cotton in. Well, it doesn't matter, I guess. We can come here to tailoring and we can just make some... What do I need for that? I can make it out of anything. Okay, that's fine. We're just going to keep doing that then. Um, and I think, ultimately... Uh, sign? Is that what we want? Manage outfits. Um, oh, hmm, how am I going to do this? Let's see. Rhino is a soldier. Roman is a soldier. I'll make Bowman a soldier. Crand will be a soldier. Uh, no, Bowman was a blacksmith. We might make him... We'll put him back. We'll make... We'll do like a, a Mechanicum one. We'll throw him in with that. So if we go to Manage Outfits now, we go to Soldier. I'm going to turn off... Button down shirts. Uh, we're going to turn that off, that off, that off. Hmm. Power armor, light power armor. No, here. Let's turn off all of that initially, right? We might come back and add some of that on because some of it we're going to end up building because we don't have a lot of options necessarily. Um... So let's go Imperial Armor. Sure. Like that. I think that will be good. And then on headgear, I'm going to turn that off. I don't see anything there we might need. Oh, advanced helmet, because we are going to build some of those. And I am going to build some armor vests. So we'll do that. We've got all this stuff. We've got some really cool things in there that we're not going to use, but that's okay. Um, yeah. So close. So those are our soldiers. Then we could do a Mechanicum. And we'll go with we'll a new outfit. Mechanicum. There we go. We're going to clear all. Um, armor add-ons. Uh, no, we don't need any of that. Chaplains. Might have to do some of that. Uh, servo arms, flak vests. 
And we'll just go flak plate there. What do I have on them right now? That's an interesting question. Carapace. Jumpsuit, carapace, armor, servo arm. Okay, I think that's fine. So if we go back in here and I go assign. Welding masks. Gas masks just because they look cool for these guys. Wait, what did, what did I say Greenlight had? Gear. Science goggles. Where are the science goggles in that? Assign, manage, select, mechanicum, headgear maybe? I don't see it there. It's not there, right? Eyewear, there we go. So, uh, Ski goggles, sunglasses, science goggles. There we go. So we could make, so now we can make green light mechanicum. We make Tiberius mechanicum. We make Bowman mechanicum. So at some point we'll need to do one for our ninja, for our commissar, all that sort of stuff. Let's see how we get, get along. Um, Crand is now naked. Bowman, can you finish this? I'm going to go ahead and up Bowman's tailoring to one. So we keep people, so people aren't naked. That's essentially it. <laughs> That's all we're looking for. So we got to be getting close to, to bringing in some harvests. 84%. Got some, some straw there. What is our best growing? What are we up to now? Uh, nine. So we could grow some medicine now, I think, right? So if we go uh, zone growing, if I wanted to do, say, half a zone here, of Hiyoru, we can do that now. What's Kalma plant? We saw that that was something. Let's, let's grow it. I don't know what it is. Um, Uh, general group of euphoric sedative drugs produced. Okay. Using the Imperial Apothecary. All right, well, we'll get, we'll get some of that stocked up. There we go. That looks good. So we can start to grow both of those and get that rolling. Oh, messed up. It's now seeing the top. There we go. Seeing the top. I, uh, I changed my, um, well, what I did was I, I, I don't know. My backdrop is my closet, my closet doors. And I had a green screen that just hung in front of them. But then I had to move the green screen out of the way every time I wanted to get in the closet, which was kind of a pain in the butt. So I, I 
decided originally I was going to put vinyl on them, and I went to the craft store, and vinyl was like $7 for like a one by four foot section, and I need to cover about five by five feet. And so I thought, no, that would be too expensive. So I just got some spray paint, and I spray painted them. And I'm not really happy with it. Um, and I thought, well, I could, you know, take a few. By the time I spray painted it dark enough um, to be really a good solid single color, um, it, I would have spent as much as I had on the vinyl. So I, I got online finally, which is what I should have done in the first place, and looked up vinyl, and I'm getting a, um, a one by five yard roll. So essentially 25 feet or 15 feet, one by 15 feet. Yeah. Um, of flat green and we'll put that on and see how that looks. So I won't be able to do quite five by five with that. I'll be able to do like a five by, you know, three by that. Uh, so we'll see kind of how that goes and how much space I want to do on that. And if it works great, awesome. Um, I'll get another roll if I need to fill out more, but I mean, I could, I could clearly, um, you know, we don't need this much. We could do kind of, you know, head size, you know, so I could do three feet probably just fine, five by three, and cover everything we need to cover. Anyway, I ordered that, so we'll see how that works. Looking for something that's going to give me a really consistent backdrop. It's flat. It's not going to reflect light. You don't have to mess with it too much. Ideally, I'd have a big room that I could just paint a back wall green, you know, with just flat roll on, you know, latex paint, but um, I don't have that space, so make do with what we've got. Green light's out there doing the planting, which is good. Uh, we haven't had nearly as much kind of attack stuff as I expected. Um, we still haven't got Kahula converted over either, which is interesting. But we're not dead yet, so that's always good. Multi-analyzer's done. Excellent. So we can go ahead and build one of those. Uh, it's under miscellaneous, right? Multi-analyzer, right there. We have everything we need for it. We left the space for it because we knew we'd want it. Nobody's named the tortoise yet. We've got Warhol and we've got... Now we've got the tortoise. I think at some point we decide, you know, maybe we light up our little outsides here too, right? Just because it'll look cool. There we go. That's going to improve some things. I think some of the stuff we wanted to research required that. Oh, there we go. Crandon Tiberius. Awesome. Tiberius is actually a girl, by the way. I, I, I know it's not the... Oh, what did, what did you have that I lost? Because... You had the sunshades. I'm going to add those back in. No, I'm just going to have Tiberius go put his sunshades back on. We'll just force it. There we go. A mesh shirt. Oh, that's... That's sexy. Oh, okay. Now, here, I wanted to go and add... Turn off that. I want to actually add... Elephant tusks, thrumbo horns. I guess that's it. Yeah, like that. See if it'll make the room more impressive. Let's let's take a look really fast. What are we at right now? Mediocre, somewhat poor, rather tight, neutral. Okay. All of that makes perfect sense for a military room. Come on, Scarlet, you can do it. Yes, you can. You actually did. All right. Kahula, I think, is going to become uh, another soldier who just happens to mine. So let's go and go to a sign and uh, Kahula. Soldier. So you'll probably be naked for a little while. But we'll get more stuff. And you've got a room already there, so... Um, so yeah, due to the new, uh, 
Let's go medical, medical, medical. So we still have a prisoner room, essentially. Perfect. So let's take a look at Kahula here. What do we got? Um, geologist. There, there, there. There, there, there. Uh, let's turn that off. Uh, I'm going to turn hunting off. Mining will be your priority. I'm going to turn that off, turn that off. We'll put crafting on as a nine in case it comes up. Um, a hall is a two. And a cleaning is a two. How about that? Something like that. Get more mining done, get more work done. Awesome. So we managed to pick up Kron, Krand and Kahula in this group. So that's not too bad for an hour. You know, we fought off one raid, recruited two of them. Got a little bit of research done. We'll get in there. It's a little bit slower than I kind of planned on things going, to be honest, but oh well. We might want to turn somebody's crafting up. I'm kind of thinking we do. Uh, who do we've got that likes to craft that's not doing other things? <sighs> do we make Tiberius like... It seems like a waste to use Tiberius, who's got all these other skills on crafting. I'm wondering if we take Roman. Roman does refining, but I'm kind of wondering if we do crafting with him, because he's got a little bit of joy for it. Um, I'm going to turn it off there for Kahula. Uh, and we've only got people with a little bit of joy on it. And we could have Cran do it, too. Um, so let's let's put him up as a two as well. So hopefully we'll get some more of that done. We need to get more blocks, more of that stuff done. Work our way through that. Be nice to get some, like I say, just get more of it done, right? Uh, we've got too many potatoes. Got a lot of rice, too. Rogue Trader. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to convert this to corn. Because we've just started growing there. Tiger, you want to talk to the Xenotech Rogue Trader? Probably somebody we shouldn't be talking to, but you know, you never know. Um, we just don't have much money or anything I want to sell. I mean, that's the problem. We'd sell the Glitter World medicine. Um, and buy regular medicine. Although, I mean, we make three on the turnaround because of the prices. We may as well just stick with what we've got. Um, we could buy some more ceramite. We buy some nano components. I don't know. I just don't. I think we just kind of move on. We just don't have the money or the ingredients at the moment. We got to make some more art to sell. That's what we really need to be working on, probably. Um, and we've had Cran doing, just done some of that. Who do we have that likes art? Anybody? I mean, we could have Greenlight doing art too. In between growing, maybe that'll be her second thing. Let's go with that. A weird mechanicum that likes to make crazy art. Sure, why not? Oh, Kahula, you need a gun. Um, you are going to use... I just had you clicked, and then when we right-click, it says no. Equip and... Uh, whoops, no. Equip and equip. There we go. Let's take care of that. Bowman's working on getting some clothes made. I think. Yep. Apparently it takes a lot. 100 ingredients. Slowly getting floors done. Clear that out of the way. You know what might be neat if we light up our little underground, our little forest here. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go, that's Imperial. There.
probably shouldn't be wasting electricity this way, but it just seems so cool. I like it a lot. They don't think it's as pretty as I do, but I think it's really cool. Now what we could do at some point is, we could we could chop this stuff down and plant something that's pretty. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and turn that into a growing zone for flowers or bamboo or I don't know, anything. Um, if I z go here, can I make it a growing zone? I can. I'll accept the middle there. So we could turn around and do something like palm trees? Um, plant itself is not beautiful. Um, Beauty's a one. I want a tree of some sort. Beauty is one. Beauty's two for the teak. Birch. Let's go birch. Everybody likes birch trees, right? Yeah. And that'll be a pretty area with the lights and the, you know, we've got a little bit of a joy source there. I think that'll work really well. It is kind of a nice little touch, an unexpected touch, right? Our bench broke down, we'll get that fixed. And hopefully the big thing is gonna be the extra mining. We need to get a lot of mining done on this map. Um, so hopefully Kahula is gonna really help with that. And uh, I don't know, I might I might turn around and have Tiberius do more of that as well. I don't have a lot of construction stuff to do anyway. I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn growing off for him. Um and for Rhino. Whoops. Okay. Oh wait, so we've got this unit right here. So hold large amounts. Let's see what we can build then. Let's Structure is it under structure, furniture. Hmm. Production. Oh, now we can build these. Oh, well, we don't have nearly enough stuff for that. That's what we need. We need refined ceramite. Now that one just needs raw ceramite. Okay, well maybe we wait on that. I mean, do we do we queue it up and then as we get stuff we dump it? I think we just wait for now. So I need at least 600 steel and 200 ceramite. Is that what we're managing? And steel. What do we got for steel? 500. I'm going to knock that up to 1,000-ish. Oh, wait. Now, that wasn't what I was looking for, though. Um, production. I'm looking for that deep whatever bobber storage thing. Deep storage unit. Okay, we're, we're under miscellaneous. So, we can put that, in theory... I don't know where I'm going to put it. <laughs> I 
Um, here, let's just put one right there for now, and then see what happens. Because I don't, I don't know. I mean, what do we need to build it? A hundred, hundred steel, two hundred wood. I mean, great if we get rid of all this and everything goes in there, and we call it a day. You know, we put all the rice and, and stuff down there. And then I don't know if that's going to be eligible to be sold from our, our deals either. Oh, wait. So let me pause this here. Storage. We put raw food, kibble, pemmican, manufactured, raw resources. Let's make this one for... Potatoes, corn, and rice, and raw fungus, if we get that. So now I'm going to see if we, how much of that we can put in there, right? So we can put 10 stacks of 75 in there. So in theory, it can hold 750 potatoes. I think. Grand is throwing a party. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do a couple things. First of all, I'm going to move the marriage spot to here. Uh, the party spot, I think, does go here. Caravan parking spot. We'll just go right here in the middle. I think that's all our spots. So yeah, we could do like a couple of those for all the rice and stuff. I mean, what if, can we put them in here maybe? That might be interesting. And if we do, will it stay cold? I'm gonna build three of them in there. It's gonna take a lot of resources. But I want to be able to put a lot of food in there. And then we can convert this to something else. We can put blocks or something like that in there. And we're probably running up on our hour here. So I think we'll wait for these to get built. And I'm going to take this one. I'm going to copy these settings. And I'm going to paste here. And I'm going to paste here. And then this one, I'm going to go and I'm going to clear all. I'm going to say meat. And then I'm going to clear all. Clear all. Clear all and see what happens. Now I'm going to tell them they all have to... All that has to be hauled urgently. That needs to be hauled urgently. That needs to be hauled urgently. And this one I'm going to make critical. 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 Now let's see how that works. Do we get everything there where we want to get it? And these blocks can be hauled away as well. So the question is, why did it not go into here? Okay, it is. So now I can rename this. I can say this is meat storage. Meat storage. And then this one. Oh, I can rename all these. Grains. Uh, raw veg. And 
and we'll go like that. And this one, same thing, raw veg. Vegetarian, and we allow all vegetarian. And then I can get rid of these. And this one is going to stop being that. Um, and I'm going to clear all. And this one will put, uh, how about stone blocks in that one? Uh, raw resources. Stone blocks. And we'll name it, and we'll call it stone blocks. So in theory, we could free up a lot of space in here um, with these. You know, we could do... Just got so much vegetable stuff. I mean, because we can hold 1,500 vegetables right in there, right? But I've got 4,000. <laughs> so we might need to make some more. Oh, well. But we're getting it all taken care of. Um, so I think on that note, we've got two new people. We've got Kahula, we've got Crand. In theory, we're going to be uh, building some more clothes here so Kahula doesn't have to run around naked for too much longer. Uh, we've got that researched. We got that researched. We are just about done with uh, Imperial Laz pistols, which will be great. And then on to Laz guns. Uh, Apothecary will be good at some point. We'll be able to start doing that sort of thing. I suppose I'm going to right now put down just a regular old everyday crafting spot because you never know what type of random stuff they let you craft there. People tend to throw stuff in there. Ad build. Do we have. Uh, big choppers, smoke leaf. Okay, we don't have to worry about any of that at the moment, but we're going to go ahead and leave it there anyway. We've got our little area here built, our little garden area, which is going to be lovely. So now let's see if we look in here. You know, it's it's getting there. They still think it's ugly, and it's very dirty, but uh, it'll get there. Just needs to be cleaned up. It looks like. Oh, I don't want to look here now. That we have that in there. Eh. Didn't really do much, did it? Still somewhat poor. Okay. It was worth a shot. Uh, I'm going to move this, though. I'm going to... Uh... No, no, we'll leave it like that. And we'll go... We'll give him a dresser. Furniture. Dresser. And... End table. I guess we can give everybody an end table, huh? We'll, we'll start with that. Last pistol's done, okay. I lost my end tables. Sure, why not? There we go. Everybody get everybody gets in tables. Woohoo! Um, in tables for everyone. And on that, we'll leave it at that. So we'll be back tomorrow for about an hour. And um, you know, these will get broke up into half hour ish episodes for YouTube consumption. And we'll see you next time. I'd like to thank all my uh, zero viewers that showed up. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to thank all you guys on YouTube as well. We'll see you next time. Cheers.